Welcome back, boys and girls, friends from all around. Welcome to the Knot Breaker channel. You guys have seen this axe before. I've used it several times. I never gave it its own video, per se. Uh, partially because I was so um, upset about this axe. All the stuff I went through with it. But I figured I had it in my collection, so I might as well make a video about it. So today we're going to swing it a few times. Actually, <laughs> we're going to swing it a lot of times. Because uh, this wood was being a bear. Again, I'm not familiar with uh, very many wood species or tree identification for that matter. But uh, I'm sure somebody on the comments will let me know what it is. And then someone else will correct them. That's how, that's how society works these days. <laughs> anyway... Uh, happy Halloween to those who celebrate the uh, holiday. Is it really a holiday, though? They don't give you off for work or nothing. I don't, I don't think it's really a holiday. It's just a thing we do. Um, in other news, we're close to 700 subscribers. I never thought I'd say that. But... Uh, here we are, like five subs away from 700 at the time of this video. But thank you all. Um, it's really been a blessing being able to come on here. and 700 people like what I do. So hopefully uh, several thousand more will like what I do in the long run once it gets around in the algorithm but I'm babbling on so <clears throat> let's talk about this Helco work Nordic splitting axe um, it's a good splitter it, Helco's customer service again is garbage but as far as the splitter goes it's pretty good I was concerned with that, so I brought out the Grand's Force just to see if it would have as tough a time. I consider Grand's Force to be like the gold standard of axes and mauls and whatnot. But uh, this wood was being a absolute beast, and it tired me out rather quickly. Probably because I'm fat and out of shape, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> You can see here, I mean, it's it's not giving way. I should have got the Saxon out and tried it just to see if it would have made any difference. The Saxon is by far the best splitter I've ever tried. Let me show you here. But I'm not swinging at different spots. I'm staying pretty true to point of origin trying to create a line and it should pop that thing right off but man whatever this wood is I don't particularly care to mess with any more of it I want to say it's a form of oak I believe but I'm not 100% sure and it is pretty well seasoned it's fairly dry that may be a factor as well um, I'm certain it probably is but fast forward a little bit we finally got it busted up and man the last wood I worked this hard on you can see there's a knot there but I'm the knot breaker so <laughs> um, the last wood that was this difficult to split was that big uh, red oak that I was trying to split last season. It seemed equally as tough, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say, pun intended, 
uh, go out on a limb and say that this is possibly red oak. I don't know. Certainly someone will correct it. But stay tuned to the end of this video. I got some bonus footage. Uh, I had a little debate in a Facebook group about chainsaw sprockets, so we're going to test that. That's the good thing about firewood, it warms you twice. <laughs> I'm out on my uh, grandparents' property for this shoot. Uh, they're no longer here, unfortunately. But um, those trees in the background there, the maples, um, I have a fond memory. My granddad and I planted those about 20, maybe more than 20 years ago. And they're nice, big, strong trees now. And just over the uh, bank there, there's a creek. And... Um, that's why I'm, I'm assuming they grew so well. They're right next to the creek. Now this is a piece of pine. I know it's a piece of pine because of the way it smelled. Um, but it was, gosh, it was equally as tough. And I've, I've said negative things about splitting pine and stuff like that in the past. Now I know this piece is tall. If it would have been a little bit shorter piece, probably would have been easier to deal with. But um, it was as hard as anything else I've ever split. And it was not dry. It was green. It was soaked in the middle. So, look at that overstrike. <laughs> um, to anyone I've ever said anything negative to about, oh, he's putting soft wood. Well... There are softwoods out there that split very easily. I know for a fact cedar is one of them. But this pine was also no joke. Couldn't even one hand it. But anyway, back to the maple trees in the background there. In the spring, I'm going to come get some of the, um, we call them helicopters. I don't know what y'all call them, where y'all are from, but. Uh, just seeds that fall out of the tree yearly. I'm going to come get some of them and plant them around my house. for Mainly for sentimental value. Like I said, me and my granddaddy planted those trees. Gosh, I don't know how long ago. And I guess being by that creek helped them out because all we did was dig a little hole, push the seed down in there. And there they are now. Nice, healthy, big trees. It's been a been a blessing to watch them grow and have that memory. Yeah, this pine. It was a mess too. As I said, I should have grabbed the Saxon and gave it a few swings for comparison, but I did not. So here we are. Just want to reiterate, if you're doing this kind of thing, make sure you're out of the way. You don't want to swing that over your head. It's dangerous but I ain't your daddy so do what you want to do I'm just telling you it's dangerous so I had a debate with a guy in a Facebook group that uh, basically an 8 pin sprocket would spin the chain faster and, um, make faster cuts and so on and so forth without diminishing too much of your torque and so on. Um, you're going to find out here very shortly that I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I don't know if this was just a, 
a flop occurrence or one-off deal I don't know but we're gonna definitely do more testing in the future and I've got some ideas to test uh, a lot of different things like uh, chain sharpness how much does it matter so on and so forth but that'll be in the future and here we go I'm ready to eat crow at this point I tried to line it up and time it exactly right it may be slightly off I'm a human and I make errors but uh, yeah this was not faster and in fact you're about to see that it got even slower with each cut which tells me that might be something related to the uh, sharpness of the chain and speaking of that we got to test out some uh, different sharpeners as well lots of testing lots of uh, finding answers for you folks we're going to find the best products to uh, do all your chainsaw sharpening and wood splitting and all that stuff got even slower I can't believe that as always thank you all for watching uh, keep your edges sharp and clean be good to one another uh, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Share with your friends if you would. God bless. And we'll see you all on the next one.